Hi, I'm David Feeney. I'm uh, founder and CEO of SD3D Printing, and I'm here to kind of show you guys what we do over here at SD3D, which is printer farms. And so we have all these different types of printers. These are MakerBots. These only print single material right here, so they're a little bit limited, but they're fairly reliable for desktop 3D printers. It's actually the most reliable uh, unit that we've found. Over here we have another type of printer. This one's a little bit more flexible. It could do ABS and PLA. This is a uh, Robo made out of uh, San Diego, another fairly small company. And it, it's fairly reliable, but it, you know, we have to modularly change things all the time with it, and it does break down from time to time. Whenever this particular machine runs out of filament, this was 10 hours in, and it just failed, and there was nothing we could do about it. And we just came back, and we found that you know we had to essentially trash this. So that's one reason why we're trying to go away from these types of printers. Another reason is that they break down literally all the time. This is one of our first printers right here. And because it doesn't have any feedback systems into it, it will essentially go and destroy itself when something goes wrong, right? And so that's exactly what happened to this printer. So and we got really tired of you know coming back to the office and seeing you know printers that were like halfway destroyed and having to go and fix them all the time. So we decided to start building our own printer, which is right here. And we call this printer uh, Jarvis, and basically it has a feedback loop which makes sure that it doesn't essentially destroy itself. It also has other things like auto ejection of parts so that you don't have to go back to it all the time. And it's just a much simpler and easier to use printer that builds a lot more reliably and a lot more precise parts. All right, so this guy is extruding ABS, same plastic that you have comes to, uh, Legos are made out of. And it's extruding it at about 230 degrees Celsius, which is really tracing it layer by layer right now. And uh, this is the first layer is actually the slowest layer it goes. It wants to lay it down there really nicely because it sets up the foundation for the next layers. Making tent stakes. So these are if you have like a beach tent or some kind of gazebo or something like that. These are stakes that um, are an all-in-one piece so that you don't have it actually sticking out of the ground. It goes all the way into the ground. 